Hey everyone, Melderon Gaming here. Uh, we lucked out, so uh, Matt, I was going to level level him up to 15 to get into his first dungeon, and we ran into a guy in the Barrens that said he's going to run us through on his level 60 shaman. So Matt's going to have Matt's going to have his first dungeon experience in a very easy mode. So this will be nice, but he'll get to learn how to how how dungeons work. So this is good. So any new players who are afraid to go into the dungeon, uh, I'm going to go over the brief uh, rules of a dungeon real quick. Um, to the dungeon, there are three main components. One of them is a tank, who takes all the damage. We're going to zone in now, actually. This is Ragefire Chasm, which is inside Orgrim March, so you're not sure what dungeon this is. Um, there's a tank, there's a healer, and there's three DPS. The tank's job is to take all the aggro off the monsters, all the attention of the monsters, and direct it to himself. The healer's job is to heal everyone, and the DPS's job is damage per second, or their job is to well, kill things. So this is a non-normal scenario. We have um, we have a um, we have a level 60 that's running it through us. So level 60 is the max level in vanilla. So they're basically going to this shaman is going to run here and just wipe the floor with everything. So, but it'll give man an idea of what dungeons look like. Uh, normally, so if you'll notice, if you click any of these monsters, they have a they have a gold uh, frame around them. Matt, if you see that, they have a gold dragon. Yep. That means they're elites. They have a lot more damage and health than a normal monster would of that level. So you could not kill one of these yourself. Basically, you need five people to gotcha. kill. Gotcha. Um, Even though they're they are only level thirteen. Yes, yes. So this is the level sixty shaman. Yeah, he just is one hitting and everything. So okay. Yeah. So should I even try and attack um, or just? Um, no, just let him do do his job. And then when you see time, when you see stuff to loot, just loot basically. Okay. So this is going to be a very, very quick run. Normally, there'd be a tank, and he'd be, you know, getting aggro, and you'd be going in there and trying to get behind the behind the target and kill it. Um, mm -hmm. But this shaman's just going to do his job and just kill stuff. Nice. We have all five quests too, so we'll actually show her when more of the quests are. Um, so the five cool. quests we have are test the enemy strength, hidden enemies, searching the last satchel, slaying the beast, power to destroy. Um, so um, hidden enemies, I'm sorry, testing the enemy strength is killing these trogs that are in this room, basically. Uh, it's a very simple quest, just just kill stuff. Uh -huh. A lot of them in here. Oh yeah. Imagine how long this would take if it, if it, if it was. Yeah. Yeah. Dungeons usually take anywhere between a half hour to an hour. Okay. Oh, he, needs a, he needs a heal. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't know why he did that. Yeah. Wait for. Oh, did they die? Black or died, yeah. died in like a second. <laughs> uh -huh. Sean's gonna resurrect him. I don't have resurrect yet. I'll get it eventually. Oh, nice. Yeah, so the first quest is killing these trogs, and then the, w there's a satchel quest, which is up in this way. Uh, we're going to pick up a satchel from a dead tauren. Oh, let's see what the shaman's doing. Uh-oh. 
careful. I'm about to die. Alright, cool. He got him off me. Awesome. So do you have to be nearby to get the uh, shared experience, or...? Um, yeah, there's, there's, a, there's a range. I don't know what it is. Um, um, but there, there is a range, yes. So if you're too far away from your party members, you will not get experience points. That's correct. It's pretty big, though. <laughs> it's a pretty yeah. large range. He's just up there doing his thing. Yep. Yeah, so, uh, so, yeah so normally the tank would be pulling these things like a few at a time, and mm -hmm. we'd be we'd be all killing it basically. Mm -hmm. So is it back to loot where like it's each person gets something? Or... Yeah, it's round robin now. It's basically okay. turned turn based. Yep. Stay away from those. Let him do it. Oh, that's not you. That's a shaman. Never mind. Yeah. Okay, make sure you loot all these corpses. They drop books. So loot this one here. This one drops one of the books. Yep, I got it. Okay. Spell of Shadow and Incantation. In in oh, you got both. Yeah, so did I. Cool. Yeah, guys, so this is the next quest. This is the book quest. This is the Undercity quest, Power to Destroy. You bring two books back to Varimothos and Undercity, and he gives you a nice pair of pants. Um, so that's a good quest. That's number three. So the satchel we'll go back and do later. But um, Okay, so that's that quest is out of the way. And then um, slaying the beast is the next one we're going to do. We have to kill this uh, uh, terror, terror gammon, the hungerer, and that's where we're going now. Oh, I just dinged. Nice. Uh, leveled up. Yep. Yeah, I still need five thousand. Ah. I'm like stuck. There we go. Yeah, whatever you do, don't jump in the fire, you'll die. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That lava will kill you. And it's always funny watching somebody actually fall down. <laughs> Oop, and like that guy's going down there. He's dead now. that mean? Um, um, greed or need? <sighs> Scott, 16 to 31 damage main hand. How much does your damn weapon do right now? Um, need, do yeah, it? actually, you're the, only one that, you're the only one that can use it. Need it. Okay. Putting this will bind it to you. Okay, accept. Oh, also, uh, uh, hammer, well, it's, it's 0.8 more DPS. Okay, sure. What just 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 need it? No one else needed it, so you're fine. Um, pick up this. Uh, also loot this corpse. Uh, he's gonna dro drop the um, quest item. Did you get it? Yeah, I got the quest okay, item. Cool. 
Uh, in so did I actually get it? Oh, there it is. It's in your inventory. I do not have the proficiency. Yeah, but you can't equip it. But I'll oh. show you how to do that. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, so what it. does that mean, profit? So uh, each race starts with uh, certain weapons they know how to use, mm -hmm. and then they have to train other ones, basically. Right. So you let, you you don't know how to use swords yet. So when we go to Undercity, I'll show you who to talk to to get your sword training. Oh, uh, that's uh, yeah, gotcha. Uh, what's this totem here? That is, um, uh, that's Zuko's totem. Uh... He's a shaman. No, it's the other guys. Oh, but yeah, that's right, he's a shaman too, yeah. <laughs> what's... what's it do? Totems are like, um, spells that shamans use. Um, definitely need those. Need? Yes, those are good. Uh, it's like they're, it's like a form of spell for them, basically. They do, they, each totem has very, very different, there's many totems they can use, and they all have different roles, so, some, fuck. Some totems, I need to run up here, get, so he gets aggro. Ah, uh, shoot. It's not gonna be good. Where are you? I'm dead. <laughs> uh. I'll wait until he, uh, reses me, it's fine. A lot of people are gonna die here. <laughs> he just pulled too much, basically. It's okay. It's fine. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Just stand back. Don't do anything. Okay. <clears throat> I got the gauntlets. Good. Equip those, definitely. It will bind it to you. That's fine. Yeah, that was better. Way better. Uh, tiger's eye. Oh, agreed that. Any any kind of gem, you know, it's unless you're jewel craft. Oh, yeah, jewel craft is not in vanilla. Unless you can really really use it, then just let it go. Yeah, let him let him do his thing. Let him. <laughs> okay. Uh, so again, the need and greed. It's basically everybody selects one and the people who greet it don't get it and so here's here's how it works greed everyone the computer rolls a number between one and a hundred for both right. greed, for both need and greed right but a need roll always supersedes a greed roll no matter what the number is so say you roll a hundred on greed uh -huh. okay I'm gonna need greed those. that yes exactly say you roll a hundred on greed and someone rolls a one on need he, the need roll still wins does that make sense? Uh -huh. Need always wins over greed. Okay. You, you should never need something unless you actually need it. Like, I needed robes because I need those. Um, and I got them. So. Okay. Gotcha. Cool. Um, Alright, so now we have to go up here. Up there. But that's a lava. Oh, well, I'll show you. Well, he'll just want to kill these guys, I guess. <laughs> That's fine. There's, there's a little shortcut up here. So, it, yeah, just think of it this way. It's like rolling dice, um, but a need dice always beats a greed dice, no matter what. Uh -huh. I would need... No, don't need those. There's a leather working. You got the boots. Boots? Oh, it's a, it's a pattern. Yeah, I'll sell those on the auction house. Okay, so now we have to go up this way. Oh, now I see it down there. Greed rolled, you got a 27 for those. Yep. Oh, he's going that way, okay, no problem. There's a little shortcut up there. So this is the dungeon when I came in there the other day you were messing around with. Because I remember those worm things. So is this like the only one or are there different? Oh no, I wasn't in this dungeon. I don't think. 
I, I remember those worms. Those, when you little, first those, walk in. those little worms? Yeah, you died a couple times. Oh, you, oh in one of my videos. One of my, one of my earlier videos? Uh, maybe. Maybe that's where I saw yeah, it. Yeah, I wasn't in there at all. So. Recently? Yeah, no. Yeah. Oh, damn it. Oh. What? Uh oh, here they come. Yeah. So, will these ever lose aggro? No, not in the dungeon, unfortunately. So they will keep They falling. will keep going no matter what. So, should I help this guy try and kill it? Uh, no. no. He got it. Okay, good. Are you? Where are you at? I'm right here, next to the shaman. Oh, I see you now. Mm, small chains, bless up and lock doors. That's for engineering, yeah, just greed that. Greed okay. the shadow gem. Okay. Yeah. Should probably loot some stuff. Yeah, the good thing about dungeons is that nice loot drops. That's the main reason people go to do them. Uh -huh. Experience isn't great. Even if you're in a group of a similar level, experience is not like, great. It's, but it's more about quests and gear that's possible to get. Right. Uh, so we finished hidden enemies. Yep, now we all we have left is the satchel quest and testing enemy strength. We still need a few more shaman, but after that, we're done. Nice. That was easy. That's five <laughs> quests out of the way, and five quests are going to give a lot, a lot of XP, so that's going to yeah. be nice. Cool. <clears throat> Next time we do a dungeon, we'll actually do it real so you can see what it's like the other way. <laughs> mm hmm. Okay. And so you can have max five people. Yeah. So then there's raids, which are uh, like giant dungeons, basically. In vanilla, they had raids of the forty people. You imagine forty people doing one thing. Two yeah. Days. Yeah. So that's. I can't even keep track of all of this. Yeah. Keep losing people. And... Shoot, I was getting lost when we were. Picking up the item to be able to get in here. Yeah. No, I mean, it's because you haven't been in Orgrimmar yet and you haven't experienced yeah. that. Orgrimmar's huge. Mm Our Grim Totem Totem. What's that? There's a indicator on my map. Mauer Grim Totem. Behind us. I don't see it. Oh my map. No. Uh we just got left the range. Okay, now we're going to finish testing an enemy strength. Is that the only one we have left? And we have the satchel, which is up this way too. Okay. And the best part is we have to go to like Thunder Bluff and Undercity to turn all this crap in, but it's okay. It's worth it. Just basically okay. let him don't hit anything, because if you hit something, you'll lose. he'll lose aggro and then it'll kill you, basically. Okay. I'm just hanging out down here. Yep.
Yeah, it's kind of funny, I think. We're just like... Alright, now turn this in. Yeah. Complete. Rewards. Bracers. Or these other ones. We'll take this, you have to take the Satchel to Thunder Bluff first. So take, oh, take I, oh yeah. that... Yep, I see. Those are the rewards of the quest, though. Yeah. Um, woolen boots, probably greed those. So we're just waiting for... Well, we need one more of these shamans to kill. Uh, so we need to wait for them to... I don't know what he's doing up there. Yeah. Maybe he's... Pop. Come back there to life. Comes. Respawn. Comes. Or, oh, we gotta go somewhere else. Well, yeah, we need... They don't... Actually, well, that's not true. Dungeon monsters do respawn. It just takes very long for them to do it. Mm-hmm. It's awesome he has the sulfurous. He has the... This is a very low drop rate, this hammer he has. The level 60. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah, it drops off Ragnaros, and it's, like, really hard to get, but he's got it, so it's really cool. I don't know. Our hammers are pretty cool. There's the Shaman, and we're done after this. Sweet. For coins, are there anything higher than gold, or is gold the max? Gold's the highest, yeah. Gold's the highest. So, you know, I, I'm sure you figured out 100 copper equals silver, 100 silver equals gold. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Well, that was easy, easy. So we're done? Yep, now we have to turn in, uh, let's see, we'll turn in a quest right outside, mm -hmm. and then we'll turn in one at Thrall, and then we can we have to go to Undercity and turn in one, and then we have to go back to Thunder Bluff and turn in two. So, um... Nice. This is what first one we turn in is in here. Yep, you Done. got that one already. Yep. And that's just a bunch of XP and eight, eight silver. All right, well, le just leave party. Uh, so click on your portrait and then leave party. Okay. And then I'm gonna reinvite you to a party. So where are you behind me? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Um, we're going to turn in some quests, guys. I hope you enjoyed that very, very short run Rage Fire Chasm. Um, stay tuned for the next time, where I, um, next video I want to do is a intro to, uh, tutorial for dungeon healing. And, uh, hopefully Matt will be with me for that one, too. And, uh, have a great night, have a great day, and, uh, take care of yourself. Say bye, Matt. Thanks, Melderon. Bye, guys. Okay, bye. <laughs>